I'm Oshin O'Callaghan and here's my 2022 race bike for this year and I'm racing for the YT Racing Dudes for YT Industries and here's a bike check. So we've got the 29er YT Chewis with Fox suspension, rental cockpit, we've got Maxxis DHR2, 2.4s front and rear, then we've got tram brakes and tram drivetrain. I love the derailleur and the shifter, super crisp, super reliable, strong, quiet, couldn't ask for more. I've got the Crank Brothers Synthesis wheels on this bike, which are something that has some new technology compared to other wheels with 32 spokes in the back, 28 in the front, allowing slightly more flex in the front wheel to get more grip and slightly stiffer in the back. The front wheel is also slightly wider, which allows a different profile of the tire for more grip. And it's my first year using the wheels, haven't had a problem so far and super impressed. So I'm using the Crank Brothers Mallet DH pedals, which for me, I've used them from the very start of using clip pedals and I haven't changed, went straight onto them and I loved them from the start. I'm also using Crank Brothers new shoes. There couldn't be a better combo, it's perfect. So we've got the O-Chain on this bike as well, which is a new product for me this year. And it's kind of transformed the bike between the feeling, allowing the suspension to work better and reduces pedal kickback. So I'm also running the Fox suspension, Fox 40 on the front, DHX2 on the back. I get lots of questions why I'm running the coil shock on this bike. It's mainly just a personal preference with me liking the small bump absorption more with the coil shock. I usually run DHR2s pretty much 99% of the time and that's what's on the bike right now. I've gone for the 2.4 width tire and 24 psi in the front and 26 psi in the back and I've also got crush core in. The only changes I'll be probably making this weekend if it gets wet is maybe a shorty on the front and possibly a shorty on the back. 